Hey everyone and welcome to Living in Ottawa. Today we are in the town of Perth, Ontario, just an hour outside of Ottawa. This stunningly beautiful small town with a thriving main street has so much to offer the relocating family. But first, showreel, hit it. Welcome to Perth, Ontario. Situated along the banks of the Tay River, Perth was originally a military settlement. Shortly after the War of 1812, many former soldiers moved into the area. Not only Canadians, but folks from Western European countries such as Ireland and Italy made their homes here. Men who fought in the war were awarded land for their services. And in 1824, the military handed the town over to the citizens and it became a municipality and was the many years the judicial and social center of the Ottawa Valley. And Perth takes its great pride in its Canadian and international roots, hosting both the Festival of Maples in the spring and the Perth Kilt Run each summer. Today, the city is a beautiful mixture of new and old, with modern amenities such as restaurants and breweries nestled next to 100-year-old stone buildings in downtown area. Perth is also home to a vibrant art scene. They have the local community theater here, as well as the bandstand behind Town Hall, where local musicians have been performing since 1901. Like much of the Ottawa Valley, Perth is beautiful, not only architecturally, but naturally too. The city is home to fantastic Stewart Park, and just outside the town, you can find Murphy's Point Provincial Park, where you can enjoy a multitude of outdoor activities. Let's go check it out. I know you're just gonna fall in love with it. When you cross the bridge in downtown Perth, you feel like you've stepped back in time. The downtown area is located on an island between the two channels of the Tay River and is a designated heritage conservation district. These old storm walls have housed numerous businesses over the last century. For example, in 1840, Codes Mill was a tanner, and today it's the home to boutiques as well as the Black Fly, which serves gourmet donuts and Perth's chocolate works. One of downtown's most interesting buildings is the Crystal Palace. This one-of-a-kind building is constructed from old street bus enclosures and hosts many of the city's events, such as the Summer Farmer's Market and many of the activities during the Festival of Maples. In addition to many of the social and cultural highlights, Perth is also home to some beautiful outdoor and recreational areas. One of the most popular green spaces in town is the picturesque Stewart Park, located right in the heart of town. Situated on the same island as downtown, Stewart Park is the perfect place to take a stroll or have a picnic lunch while watching the herons along the banks of the Tay River. If you're in town during the summer months, this is the popular Stewart Park Festival site and you can often find local musicians playing at the pavilion. When Mrs. Stewart gifted the park to the city in 1947, it was with the condition that any events held there be free, making the park beautiful and cost effective.
while you're strolling through downtown, be sure to check out some of the local restaurants. There is an abundance of them, and you're sure to find something you like. For example, Hideaway Cafe specializes in breakfast and brunch, and their Schmores French Toast is delicious, crossed between comfort food and decadent dessert. But be sure to pop in early, as they only stay open till 2 p.m. in the afternoon. If you're looking for something a little more exotic than eggs and bacon, Kotho Labs is a fun and tasty Sri Lankan restaurant located on Foster Street. At Kotho Labs, you can mix and match ingredients to make a meal catered to your liking. They also have a wide range of vegan and gluten-free options. Finally, be sure to save room for dessert because you wouldn't want to miss out on Perth Pie Company, which offers a diverse range of flavors from butterscotch meringue to maple to just about every combination apple and berry you can imagine. Murphy's Point Provincial Park is just a spot if you're looking for something a bit more rural than a downtown park. Located a short drive outside of town, this park is excellent for a day trip or take advantage of the camping areas and spend the weekend. Murphy's Point has several hiking trails that lead to historical landmarks. For example, the Silver Mine Trail will take you to the site of a partially restored 1900s silver mine or take the Loon Lake Loop Trail to the McFarland House and view the early 1800s sawmill and farm, now an archaeological site. And being located on the Big Rideau Lake, the park provides ample opportunity for swimming, canoeing and kayaking. So another great thing about the Perth area is actually that they have an Algonquin College campus right in the town. This particular campus, they have them dotted around different small towns outside of Ottawa, but the main hub is actually in Ottawa in the Nepean area. But this particular campus in Perth actually focuses on carpentry specialty. Kiwi Gardens is technically a nursery, but it is also so much more than that. Located over 10 acres, Kiwi Gardens incorporates walking paths, show gardens, art, and a nursery. During Art in the Garden, you can admire and purchase art from numerous local artists. On any visit, you can pick from Kiwi's selection over 1,000 perennials and succulents. If you have trouble deciding, feel free to ask one of the gardeners on staff, who will be happy to help you plan your beautiful outdoor oasis. Not only does Perth have an impressive selection of places to eat, but they also have a wide variety of local beers, thanks to the city's three breweries. Weatherhead Brewery is located in the town's last remaining Wampool building, which has been beautifully renovated. So sit out on the deck and take in the views of the original Bridge Master's House and Swing Bridge while sipping on a brew named after a piece of local history. And Perth Brewery has been perfecting their craft since 1993 and has a wide range of ales that come in for fun, loudly colored cans. In addition, they are known for their excellent customer service and willingness to help folks find the right drink. Top Shelf Distillery is a whole different experience, offering whiskies and moonshine and spirits. You can also purchase one of the cocktail kits or sign up for their monthly cocktail subscription box.
Welcome to the Perth Farmers Market, held every Saturday, May through October, rain or shine. And if it rains, they can actually use this wonderful structured pavilion here, which actually replicated and uh, borrowed the glass from the Rideau Centre way in downtown Ottawa from the OC Transpo walkthrough. And they've actually used it as a permanent structure here for Perth. And this is a great facility because a lot of people in the local town here can come enjoy the farmer's market, take in all the boutique shops in downtown Perth. And of course, we have this wonderful uh, monument here of the mammoth cheese in downtown Perth. So there you guys have it. Perth, what a beautiful town for the relocating family. Speaking of relocating, if you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or moving to Perth or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care. When you cross the bridge to downtown Perth, you feel like you've stepped back in time. Car and it became a municipality and was for many years the judicial and their Morris French toast is delicious and it is super loud here. Well, welcome to the Perth Farmer's Market. This is held every Saturday, May through October. Gazebo type um, um, glass structure.